Today I'm visiting one of the most interesting and smallest houses in the Chew Valley. Now who lives in a house like this? Hello, Hello. you must be Catherine. I am indeed. Am I allowed in this beautiful little house? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. This is very kind of you. I love your, uh, your mat. Yes. Yes. Well, uh, no muck on me today. <laughs> I wondered how long Catherine had lived here. I've been here two and a half years now. I've looked for quite a while and this little house just popped up on the market. But it was a day of viewings because it was holiday let. Came to see it. Came in and sort of went, okay, this is this bit. There's the bathroom. What's upstairs? And upstairs is amazing and the views out are amazing. And I was just like, this this will do, let's go and see if we can make it work. How much did it cost? Uh, it was on the market at 140. Uh, I didn't pay that, but it was 15,000 pounds more than a one bedroom house on a housing estate in Shepton Mallet. And what state was it in when you took it on? Uh, it was really good, inside was really good. It had been rethatched as well, which was wonderful. Yeah, inside it was holiday let, so I bought it lock, stock and barrel with everything included. So we could literally just move in. I'd, blown the budget, I'd spent everything I had to buy it, I bought a new sofa, replaced this, um, and that's pretty much, I haven't done anything else really. You've added something to the roof. Oh, the, yes. <laughs> <laughs> they they are a real talking point, and oh. everyone loves them. What, where did that idea come from? In the past there's been, there was a pheasant on the roof and there was an owl in the old pictures, and I thought it would be nice to put something up there. The house was rethatched at the end of 2017 by the previous owners. I just thought that actually because of the pitch of the roof, because of the way that the, the very steep bit at the top, as opposed to most thatch houses, which are long, the, the long houses, and then they have, have one sort of put on the ridge, um, I thought, well, actually, it would be just look really nice to have something that sits over the pitch at the top. And just thought the hairs would look really nice up there. I just thought they'll, they'll I could picture them, but, got a daughter to do a little photoshop of what they would look like. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, so the design, is that your design? That That's from Sainsbury's. That may well have been part of the thing that made me think that's what I would like up over the top. People have seemed to really like it's them. It's like the final little touch. Yes, it just it's, it's makes like, it... It just finishes off. It just says, do you know, this is somebody's, somebody is here. This is somebody's little domain. Got the same Thatcher, um, uh, John Harmon, very bravely with his big brave pants on. Put them, put them up on the... <laughs> put them up on the roof for me. You might have noticed that Catherine and I are not alone. Apart from all the animals looking on, she's nursing an injured collared dove back to health. And he seems to be well on the way to recovery. What do you know about the history of this house? Because it must have an amazing history. So the house was built in 1793. It was originally a toll house. It was the Harp Tree Turnpike Trust that was the, the sheriff of the highways back then and charged people. It would have been horses, carts, people walking. and So um, going towards Pensford or going along to in all, all, directions. Right, all directions? All directions. From, from what I gather, wow. it was all directions. Because in the old photos, the signs for the toll were on either side, so on the Pensford side and then the Chew Magna side. And I just presumed that included the road towards the village, because mm. I guess people mm. would have come through Yeah, I think this was a way. busy little junction, relatively. I mean, yeah. I not, mean, not like today. But no, no, <laughs> no. Um, it was a toll house for about 80 years. And um, built for that purpose. Yes. Mm. Yep, yep. Just, I, I always consider it as just a little industrial building, really. Mm. And the, do you know about any of the people who lived here? How many at any time would have been living in this, this house? These, well, there's, there's sort of various versions. It's anything from 8 to 11 people, but I've been told it was 8 children uh, and that the children's bedroom was up in the eaves of the roof. What, above your bedroom? Yes, yeah. So, wow. and, and, and you can, yeah, so I, I sort of imagine it's a bit like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, where they're all in the same, you know, top and tail in the same bed. It, it would help keep you warm. Mm. And families were much bigger then, of course. Yeah. Yeah. You've got a very active Instagram account. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, you obviously enjoy the fact people want to know about this house. Well, I just, I think when I first came here, I mean, really, all, I, all I've done is tidy up the outside, but I haven't done anything particularly. I painted inside, but just sort of maintenance. And I think it was just the sort of day-to-day -day of what was going on. And just, I don't know, it's just a... Well, I love the fact a, that you've got CCTV cameras. <laughs> you catch some pretty bad drivers. <laughs> <laughs> Mainly they're reversing. People can't go backwards. <laughs>
<laughs> and add a triangle, and it, it's like, yeah, it's, well, it's a quite triangle funny. on a gradient is obviously yeah, a challenge. Yeah, it is a challenge. <laughs> They'd do better just to go up the road and turn around somewhere a bit yeah. bigger. Tell me what you least like about living here. It's cold. <laughs> it's freezing. Oh, I thought the thick walls were... Oh, it's no. absolutely freezing. Um, um, do you have gas? You can't have no gas. No gas, just, just electric. Yeah, water. My water bill's about £100 a year, so it's pretty cheap. I've got no washing machine, no cooker. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, it's just the shower and the sinks. They're, they're on this wall here, they're, that was where the fireplace would have been. And it's, it's, it's all been taken out as time's gone okay. by. Okay. Um, and I think it would have been a very effective way of heating the house. Mm. Um, well, actually, it probably could have got too hot. Oh, know. that'd be lovely. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have big deep duvets and yes sort of <laughs> yes no so my, my my heating hasn't worked for the last two winters so and i was waiting waiting dare i sit waiting for my dad to see if he'll come and help fix it a short time after this was filmed catherine's dad fixed her heating she can now look forward to a very cozy winter this year but is there any way of fixing the traffic problem the house wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the road and I don't have any problem with the fact that there is a road there. I think it's delightful because, in, in many ways, because if the road wasn't there and people didn't drive by, they wouldn't even know this house is here. There's another house quite similar up by the airport that you can't see it, so it's not known about, and you can just, just about see the top of it. Whereas here, part of its sort of quirkiness is the setting it's in. Um, I mean, from the old pictures where you've got horse and carts and people on foot, now you've got cars that are bigger, faster. Perhaps you should reintroduce the toll. Oh, that'd be brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. Extra penalty for bad driving. <laughs> Here's the evidence. <laughs> yeah. The only issue is really that there's no speed limit on the road. So it's the top road, it's the road at the front. And the house is six inches from the road. The road is narrow at the front. And it's very tight to the house and they go very fast. It's not all of them, not by a long shot. It's just the ones that are driving dangerously. It's at speed and too close and with no consideration for anyone. And that's sure. walkers, people taking photos, that's people on horses, cyclists. You know, cyclists, I know there's been a lot of problems with cyclists. Through lockdown, I've had a lot of problems with people not liking them. It's just here as a bit of a bottleneck and with the junctions either side, cars can't see because someone put a house in the middle of the road. So what? What would you say you love about this house? Oh, how long have you got? <laughs> um, I love it. I love where it sits. Stanton Drew Stone Circle is just there, and there's not many houses that you could say you can see a Neolithic stone circle from. I love the house itself. I love the garden. Uh, I love the history of the house. Uh, you'd never be lonely here. Through lockdown, I've, I've worked all the way through, but I had a little bit more downtime. I had more, and the weather was lovely. And you garden and you're constantly, oh, hello, hello, and people stop and chat and wave. And so that's, that's, that's really nice that it's, it's... It's a house that makes people happy. Oh, it does. People stop and, like you said, the hares, people love the hares. And the, the people have sort of said, oh, thank you for putting them up there. <laughs> Every time I come up here, it makes me smile. And lots of people have got memories of places they visited, whether it was the lakes, relatives, whether it was going on holiday with their family, that they always remember that this was like the landmark place that they drove past. Oh, I remember that house. Do you, do you imagine yourself staying here for a long time? Or what, what are your, or do you not want to think about that? I, 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 I don't see myself ever living anywhere else. My ashes are going to be scattered here. I'm going to haunt it forever. Oh. I'm going to be a little white sort of ghost that runs across the road in front of the speeding cars. <laughs> <laughs> You'll make them slow down somehow. <laughs> there'll be talk of there's a, there's a ghostly figure that's seen out, and that'll be me forevermore. Slow yes, down. Yes. <laughs> well, I, you were telling me you were gardening into the night the other night, so you, you, it sounds like you're already halfway there. <laughs> Planted a whole hedgerow in the dark. <laughs> you see the cars better. <laughs> I think he thinks the interview's over. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love you editing that out. <laughs> oh no, that'd be fun. <laughs> Crazy bird lady. So I bought it without any attachment to it. Um, but I absolutely adore this house. It's It's got such charm and character that it's sort of, I don't know, it's, it's just, I've not had that with a house and I've lived in lots of different houses in my life. And this, this little house is just, 
just definitely quite special. There's, there's no doubt. And I love that. <laughs>